would know who Tomer Lawton is. This is him. He uploaded this video on Friday, August 9th called Responding to the Allegations. And I watched the whole video. It's nearly 24 minutes long. I watched it on Saturday, August 10th, 2024 at around 3, 4 p.m. And while I am thankful to have watched it now to hear what Tomer Lawton had, had to say, here's one problem. I'm on my personal account that I watched it from, and when I click on, well, this channel icon, it tells me that this channel does not exist. So I wonder, hmm, why does Tomer's channel no longer exist? So later on, I scroll down on his uh, YouTube search, and I saw one of these videos from him called BTS of my modeling shoot. Take a quick guess as to what happened. If you guess that it says this video is no longer available because the uploader has closed their YouTube account, then yes. Then I clicked on another video of his from his YouTube shorts where it says haters can hate, people can say whatever they want to say, but at the end of the day, God knows my truth and the world will too. Use your brains and don't believe everything you hear. It's too easy to manipulate media these days. While Tomer Lawton is right about that, unfortunately for him, he didn't stick to his truth because I grabbed a screenshot of the same video again and his YouTube short doesn't show his handle this time and it doesn't show a caption of his hashtag and the sound. And that's a sign that tells you that he closed his YouTube account. But now as I switch over to this account, I searched up Tomer Lawton again, and when I clicked on that video, it tells me this for the exact same reason. But as I come back to here and click on the channel icon, it takes me to his channel where it has this message on YouTube where it says, this channel does not exist. And right here, if you're not subscribed to that channel, it says, go to home. Now you might be thinking, Ricky, why would you think that Tomer Lawton closed his channel? Well, I'll show you some proof. This is a YouTube channel originally called Tomer Lawton Clips. And as of 13 days ago, this channel uploaded a video called Responding to the Allegations. And it happened on the same day that the original channel, Tomer Lawton, closed his account. That would be Saturday, August 10th. Why? Because many people, including this person, were confused. Now, this person says that he went from about 1k subs down to 300, but now he's at over 500 again. What are y'all subbing for? This is wrong because the Tomer Lawton Clips channel that you reply to is actually gaining subs, not losing subs. I was there on the Tomer Lawton Clips channel originally before it rebranded to Tomer Lawton when it was at around 200 or 300 subs because his original channel, which had a video with 13k views at the time, actually had 1k subs before he closed his YouTube account. On the left side of the screen is a screenshot from 14 days ago and on the right side of the screen is a screenshot from today. So what does this mean? Well, this comment is the exact same comment that Tomer Lawton HD, which is his original official channel, put in the uh, comment section of that video earlier on. 
which happened 23 hours before he closed his YouTube account. So therefore, Tomer Clips is not Tomer Lawton's official channel. And whoever owns the Tomer Clips YouTube channel originally uploaded short form content. That's why it has a handle called Tomer Clips. So I feel very sorry for the people who've fallen for this, thinking that it is his real official channel. It is not. His official channel is closed. Now, Tomer, you claim that there is what? Like, there is so much evidence that I can come out with. I would love to come out with more. What kind of evidence are you going to come up with? Because to me, all I have seen is that you have closed your YouTube account for the past 13 days since you last uploaded without any evidence to prove that you said you were going to do when you upload part two and you still haven't done that. So if you're going to hide from the backlash you've gotten in your comment section on that video you made to defend yourself, then you have failed to deliver what you promised. You have no credibility as a model, YouTuber, or as an adult. You are not remorseful of what you did because what you did was wrong and you did not acknowledge what you did was wrong. You defended it like it was an okay thing to do, but it's not. And at this point, you have already shown your true colors when you closed your YouTube account, which, which makes your YouTube videos disappear from the YouTube landscape. If you really wanted to show the world that you were innocent, you could have manned up and take the backlash you're getting simply by reading the genuine concerns of others who are holding you accountable for your actions. You cannot cowardly hide from the reality of, of what you did and then point blame at someone else for exposing you for what you did wrong. You need to really learn to take accountability for yourself and be a little more mature as a person in general. If you really want to save your modeling career, Act like an adult now and own up to your goddamn fucking mistakes. Not close your YouTube account like a coward because only a coward doesn't want to prove himself. Thank <laughs> you.